As winter loosens its grip and spring takes hold, a reproductive ritual occurs in rivers throughout the land. Spawning suckers swell the waters as they cast their seeds to the current. We've got suckers surfacing. While enthusiastic anglers ply their craft, anxiously awaiting a bite. Oh, oh we may have something here. It's that time of year, rough fish roundup time. Lifelong friends Pete Wagner and Greg Underdog have a passion for fishing. Oh, it's got my rod! But their enthusiasm doesn't end at catching fish. These guys live to discover people. Give me a hug, Karen. Who share their love of angling. Where did you buy your shoes, by the way? People as unique as the fish they pursue. Yeah! This isn't another fishing show. This is another fishing show. Every year down in Lanesboro, Minnesota, there's an event called the Rough Fish Roundup. And what the Rough Fish Roundup is, is a rough fish tournament. Judge. We're going down to Lanesboro to get prepared to fish the Rough Fish Roundup. It's kind of like pre-fishing for the big event. The Root River that runs through Lanesboro is full of fish. Specifically in the springtime, it gets chock full of suckers. It's our mission to see if we can catch a few of them. Good fit. Uh, mm, huge. Whitey? Yeah. It's a white sucker. And no offense to the white sucker, they don't fight at all. They're really mainly used for bait. Come on. Oh, they're beautiful. See, this time of year they get white like they are the rest of the year. Sucker fishing is not rocket science. You got a split shot, you got a hook, and you got night crawlers, which is our favorite bait for catching anything. Pete likes to gob up a night crawler onto his hook, into a ball. To me, there's nothing more unsophisticated than a balled up night crawler. This is known as an Ozark rig. It's also known as a Root River belly slammer. And that's not BS. There's a hit. Got him. Wow, it's fight. That's a good one, dude. Say what you will, suckers fight like hell. Unbelievable, dude. Look how red his fins are. Wow. Seriously. This fish has every right to be considered a game fish. Plus, it's pretty. Look at this fish, dude. How can you not want to catch this? Agreed. Look at this. Look how pretty this fit. Watch, look at the look at the tail. This thing is beautiful. I mean, it's got this bright red tail. It's healthy. It's an awesome native, clean fish. That is unreal. <laughs> that, that fish fought so hard. I know. And, and look look at the colors of the fins. This fish is gorgeous. It fights hard. The whole body of it. It's a muscle. Look at how thick that back yeah, is. That is a fish built for speed right there. Why you would call this a trash fish or a rough fish and call something else a game fish is ridiculous to me. Thank you, bud. That is unreal. Fishing's kind of slowed, so we decide to move to another spot. It's a bit of a hike to where we're going, but we think that the potential outweighs the effort. I got one too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ever got the smaller ones got a film? How about that, okay? So we've devised a rule that whoever has the smallest fish on has to run the camera. Who's bigger? Who's smaller? We get these fish close to shore. I have the bigger fish, as per usual. Here. I'll get it. <laughs> Greg is forced to pick up the camera. It looks like we have a couple of silvers here. Oh, come here, bud. Yes. The problem with these suckers, there's no way to hold them. Now I know, that's a silver. <laughs> it's a feisty silver. Rough fish, whatever. So I'm excited to give the camera to Pete and he can take camera duties now. Bluff. Remember these fish are in the spawn, so they're looking to reproduce. This um, anal fin, is actually used to, I guess, kind of clasp the female when they mate. When they're spawning like this, it gets bumpy and also the... Oh Whoa! my God! 
Oh, God. money. <laughs> <laughs> I got to release him. He's getting excited. <laughs> Go. Go. <laughs> Things are going to be coming out of these fish. They are procreating. If you're going to take a kid fishing, don't take them during the sucker spawn. Well, I think well, the spawn is on. That's a first. Quite frankly, it's X-rated. Pete has hooked up with a very unique species. Big hog nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good size hog nose, huh? One of the earliest fish I ever remember catching as a kid is catching a hog nose sucker, which was always a highlight of my fishing day. Look at what's coming out of them. What? Oh. oh. Oh my lord. More hog noses. This sucker thinks that Pete is a gravel bottom, so she's going to deposit her eggs on him. Honestly, I think it's kind of touching. Where the party at tonight? Red horse fishing is not for the faint of heart. Hey, check this out. If you're squeamish, this probably isn't the kind of fishing that you want to be doing. The fish are shooting eggs and they're shooting sperm. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> if you don't like bodily fluids, then spring sucker fishing isn't what you want to be doing. It's an arm full of mud and more semen. hooks up with another fish. The fish are coated on the bottom. This is easy fishing. Why there's not more people doing this is beyond me. Cool, hold it. Pete has devised the most brilliant way to capture and hold these suckers. This is called the sucker hug here, which is very necessary sometimes to get the hook out. The only way to really get a sucker off your line is Talk like a football, sort of Heisman style. Get them secure, get your pliers out, get that hook out, release that fish. I go under the railroad bridge, make a cast, I get a bite. It's a different kind of sucker. Is that a golden? Looks like it to me. Right? Pretty big golden. It's a golden red horse, we believe, and it's a big one. That's a heavy fish, dude. These fish, you can't hardly hold them. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice grab. Somehow he catches this thing like Jerry Rice from Joe Montana. It's heavy. I mean, that's all thick muscle right there. You look at this thing, and it's just meat. The biggest sucker I've ever caught. There you go, Buster. And this is one hell of a way to end a fantastic fishing day. Bring on the Rough Fish Roundup. The Rough Fish Roundup is a multi-species rough fish tournament. You get totally thrown into the atmosphere of this place. I've always been of the opinion that every fish is worth catching. To see people of the same mindset gathered together is really cool. We meet a guy named Josh. You look at his car and he's made it into a B-52 bomber. You guys glued these rivets on here? Yep. We took little brass tacks, you know the tacks used to put pieces of paper together? Right. Took, clipped the little ends off and then my wife and I sat there and just glued them all on. It's not pretty, it's not glamorous, makes a lot of noise, rattles, barely makes it there, but it always makes it home. Definitely coolest car in the lot today. <laughs> I got into a long line with a half empty beer. For the Rough Fish Roundup, you have to have a badge and you're given a number. What happens is you catch a fish, you take a picture of that fish with your badge. All right. My badge number is 34. You know what number Kirby Puckett wore? 34. Kirby Puckett, one of the most famous Minnesota twins of all time, is my man. This is gonna be the day, I'm telling you. Everything's coming together like it should. This is something supernatural. It's a sign. Two minutes. Two minutes. The person that has the most species caught in a three hour period wins the tournament. Well, I'm a little concerned with the dash because first off, I'm not in shape. I have a lot of gear, including a heavy cooler full of beer. It, there's quite a dash that we have to make to where we're going to start fishing. Go! I got my cooler. I brought too much beer and I'm tired. He's got the cooler of beer, and there's crawlers in there, mostly beer. 
I'm losing steam. Where's the water? We get to our spot and Pete collapses. I'm just ready to lay down and take a nap at this point. Pete's second cousin is fishing with us. His name is Kurt. We've brought him into our circle and we hope that he doesn't catch the fish that we were supposed to. The first fish of the day, of course, goes to our guest, Kurt Swanson. A nice silver red horse. All right, you wanna grab your camera, Kurt? You got a phone on you? Pete helps with documentation, puts the badge right by the fish, takes a picture. I told him not to catch more fish than us. Kurt is on the board. Not the best landing zone here, but it's gonna have to do. Thank you, sir. Pete is hooked up with probably the least desirable fish that you can catch in the Root River. That's a white, isn't it? It is. It's a big old white sucker. On any other day, I might be a little disappointed with the white sucker because I'm a fan of the red horse as far as the sucker goes, but this tournament's about species. Woo. The white sucker, it's still desirable. It adds to the species count. This is obviously a white, so we won't get too detailed. Number one is in the bag, and it's time to catch number two. There's a sucker dive release, so I don't tear an ACL. Well, it turns out Kurt is evidently one hell of a rough fisherman. I'm standing next to the great Kurt Swanson. Mr. Big Shot here that was just invited to hang out with us and now he's showing us up. We don't really know if he's adding to his species count because we can't tell if it's a silver or if it's a golden red horse. We get our picture with the badge, we'll let him figure it out later. We definitely found a spot that's giving up fish. Now it just comes down to whether Greg can catch a fish or not. He's coming at me maybe. I'm getting a bite. I gotta make this count. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> awesome. Does not get old. Oh, I'm so glad I'm wearing shades. I finally get a little nudge nudge. Set the hook and this is a better fish. It's a big old blood tail. I love when you set the hook on these suckers. You kind of see this white whale sort of rise up and then put on a fight. Yeah, this is like a short nose. We got a new species. This is good news for Pete because this adds to his species count. I think we got a short nose here. Look at that tail. I think in my species count is at two. He had a white sucker. Now he's got a short nose red horse. All right. I'm getting a bite. I got one. Oh my God, I got one. And I got a, I don't want the line to break. Might be on the board here. Hello. I don't want to blow this one this time. I want to actually get this one on shore. Whoa, dude. Oh, come here. Give me on the board. Yes, nice. Kurt. Hallelujah, that's a fatty. What a gentleman Kurt is. There's no reason for him to help me. This is cutthroat competition. Here we go. My first sucker. I'm on the board. That boy, Greg. You got that stick <laughs> off you. That right there is a bite. Mm-hmm. That's a bite. It might move it a foot, but you don't need to like power set it. Like I can do go. whatever I want because I got a fish on. I'm getting bites, I'm setting hooks, and I'm not breaking lines. You see that? That's a white sucker, y'all. It's the elusive white sucker. It's fighting like a wet sock, it's a white sucker. Actually not elusive at all. Dude, this is a giant white That's sucker. That's a huge white That's sucker. It's a giant white sucker. It's a new species. I'm moving up in the world. I need to get, what, eight, like eight species here to win this thing? And I'm, I got two now, so I'm way behind. Quite frankly, I don't think there's a chance in hell that I'm gonna win this thing. Nice job. We're kind of hearing that there's guys around us that are doing quite a bit better than we are. Pete and I decide that we're gonna go talk to these guys, these other guys that are competing. We just like fishing culture. I'm gonna come down next to you, if that's all right. These are the roughest of rough fishermen, the cream of the carp. So what's your species count for the day? I'm at four right now. So I've got a hog sucker, a silver red horse, shorthead red horse, and brown trout. I'm talking to him, and he's talking to me, but he's fishing while he talks. He's got one goal in mind, and that's to win the rough fish roundup. We find a gentleman by the name of Greenwood. Greenwood vetoed his champ, uh, Northfield, Minnesota. Greenwood catches a golden sucker. <laughs> What's cool about Greenwood, he just doesn't call it a golden sucker. I got a golden red horse, Maxostoma erythrum. Greenwood is a rough fisherman that knows Latin. Maxostoma erythrum. I can appreciate that. After talking to Greenwood, we head back over to Josh. That a boy? Here we go. So we need a white or a golden. Would do you some good? Feels like a white. Josh is in the game. What's a golden? That a boy? 
Josh is at a five species count. There you go. We're kind of sitting on a shoreline with a bunch of guys that are definitely players in the rough fish tournament fishing world. You're thinking six might win it. I'm, I'm thinking six or seven is gonna be the winner. And you're still waiting for that white, right? Yeah, if I can get a white out of here. Yeah, see, so. things, things can get interesting all of a sudden. We find another angler down the shore, and his name is Eric, he's from Minneapolis. I'm at four. Four so far? And well, what are you in need of? Everything beyond four. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm hoping for a, uh, a white, I don't, I don't need one of these, but that's a beautiful fish though. What is it? It's a short neck. Nice fish, but doesn't do any good right now, huh? <laughs> he's got your white, doesn't he? got he? my white. Yeah, good job, man. <laughs> man. Yeah, it's time for a little photo shoot. Greenwood. He's at it again. We might see a murder here. <laughs> there we go. Josh is still Good waiting job, for that man. white, right? Brings in a white sucker, right between two guys that need a white sucker for the species count. So he's busting both your asses yeah. right now. He is. <laughs> I tried to claim 30 degrees on either side of this rod, that 30 degrees either side there, it's actually my fish technically, but. You know, he went from murder to happy for right. him within 30 seconds. <laughs> this, but I'm, I'm very happy for him. No. And where did you buy your shoes, by the way? Uh, <laughs> You know what's nice? I've got like $400 waiters hanging over a tree <laughs> down the river, so. You gotta appreciate a guy that doesn't mind a little mud between his toes. Tournament is done. We're gonna hit the identification table and uh, see who's gonna come out the champion today. Now the real judging begins. I think I have maybe four or five species, but honestly, not a clue. Kurt maybe has an outside chance. That's a gold. I one. did not get a white. You've got all the red horse, so. You got a trout in there, but. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's trout. a brown trout. Okay. But I don't think so. you're past that, right? That's the last fish. That's oh, the last so fish. he's okay. four. <laughs> you're at so four. close. Right. So, Kurt, how does it feel Good to be job. a total loser? <laughs> Feels great. Okay. <laughs> it turns out at the end of the tournament, we have multiple guys that share the species count, meaning a bunch of people caught five species. We have a massive tie. We're gonna have to have a fish off. We're gonna go for the first person to land two fish. That way, because there's so many of you, it'd be easy to get a double. The first person to catch two fish of any species is the winner. Everyone has to go back down to the river that tied for the lead. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's come down to. Root River, sudden death. Got it. it begins. Josh is the first one to bring a fish in. All right, Josh. You confirmed? We've been right there with Josh to see him actually qualify for the fish off. He wants to win this thing. We missed it, what did you land? Uh, I got a shorthead red horse. All right, Aaron By brings home his first species. We have a tie ball game. One more wins the tourney, right? Uh, yup. All right, good luck, man. I'm here with world record holder, Super Frog. The next fish is caught by Chad, Super Frog. That's a terrible Cosa, I just lost it. What do we got there? A silver. A big silver, and he is in. He's gotta get back in the water. Judge. It's a three red horse race right now. You couldn't script this any better. Uh-oh, Josh, you got Josh one? Josh got one? He's got one. Yo, oh, right here, we got a winner. Chicken dinner. Oh! Oh, we lost it! <laughs> no! What happened, Josh? Broke my line. Not cool. We got to retie here, this is not cool. He's got to spend time retying when he knows he's got two guys breathing down his neck. Was your first retie today? Yep. Ill timing, huh? Yup, yup. Yeah, I horsed it a little bit, I took a shot. Josh is working frantically to get retied, and Aaron, who's right by him, sets the hook. Oh, oh we may have something here. Oh, we got an extra line. This is the winning fish. Aaron is freaking out. He thinks he's gonna lose this fish in the other guy's line. It's still on there. Oh. It's still on there. Thanks, Josh. Come out, Josh. Silver. <laughs> Pour some in. Max sauce, come on, We got him. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, winner, winner. Victory. The lacquered red horse is his. Aaron By, Outdoors for Life, congratulations. Woo! 2014 Species Derby Champion. Yeah. Nice work, congratulations. Aaron By, this is your moment. Seen the lacquered silver red horse that is drilled onto a board, passed on from the former champion to the current champion. Here, let me <laughs> present it properly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was not a dry eye in the house. Hold her up, champ. All right. There he is.
your champion, folks. Take a victory lap.